You need a space where people from different disciplines, not only different disciplines, but different perspectives of, of life, can come together to discuss project ideas. It's really quite unusual for any university to have a single space which attracts together people from all the different faculties. And so the idea of a, a transdisciplinary group was, was to try and think of a new way of uh, doing projects, doing research. We were having transdisciplinary conversations across the university. We did have a, a sort of mini conference which attracted a couple of hundred staff who are really interested in the concept of transdisciplinarity. We realised that it would be much better to have a relaxed, calm place where we could sit and have a cup of tea and just get to know each other and talk about those knotty problems. Warm, interesting and diverse environment. Well, it was really to find a, a, a kind of haven within the, the normal parameters of a university where people could actually do blue skies discussion with no boundaries. There aren't many places where individuals can gather in a university. And it was the idea of Toby Moores, he's the CEO of Sleepy Dog, to find a place which we could call a common room. And we got some funding from Sleepy Dog who wanted to see some kind of creative initiative within the university that, that broke the normal rules. There was an empty building, the transdisciplinary common room has been a fantastic way to bring people together from across the university. Different individuals around the university came and contributed things and plants and furniture and pots and pans. It was just a really nice informal place to exchange ideas without any pressure of being right or wrong. It's informal, it's, um, it's a space where people um, feel relaxed enough to actually engage with one another and discuss project ideas. The best thing about the TDC has been the openness of the space, the flexibility of the space and the welcome to come and use this space. The spark of conversation which will suddenly start off quite unexpectedly. It's a really good place to be playful and um, just do stuff that you wouldn't normally take time out to think about or do. It did get researchers actually interested in new projects and developing liaisons that led to, to further activities. I've got out of it um, the opportunity to meet people I haven't met before, to um, discuss potential project ideas and um, to, you know, to start framing them up ready to um, develop into, into projects that um, can be taken forward either for um, funding bids or um, for commercial projects. In the spring of 2013 we ran a series about the future. We invited TDC colleagues to think of themselves as futurists and to imagine um, how the world might be in 2025. How will our disciplines be in 2025? There was one particular talk that really helped me to reframe my own position at quite a crucial point in my PhD um, that wouldn't have come about in any other way really. And I think when we had <laughs> the discussion of the future of the university some really profound ideas did emerge that were actually quite scary to people. Some of the um, predictions were quite scary actually. <laughs> I got to meet one of my pop star idols from the 80s, that was quite nice, when Pat Kane came down and uh, did his talk about the future. That it brought people together who otherwise would not have said hello, let alone discuss deep issues about the future of higher education. The TDC has made a lot of advances in the two years that it's been running. We've had a number of successful grant applications. I think on the whole it, it was successful because people found a kind of freedom to discuss within this space and also to frame really important questions about the future. Most importantly of all is that we've learned a lot about each other and we've learned something of a joint language, a shared language that we didn't have before. You always know it's going to be interesting and um, you'll, you'll go away knowing something that you didn't. Businesses are desperate for universities to give them people who can think across the disciplines and work with colleagues from other areas. We have to reach out to new modes of interaction as researchers but also in teaching. The TDC has changed the way that people work together here by giving them an opportunity to get to know each other personally. The culture of transdisciplinarity has begun to be embedded within this university. 
I think it has opened up a window of opportunity for people to reconsider their own practice, both in teaching and learning and in, in research. It cuts across the kind of uh, specialisms that are necessary for people to develop deep knowledge that we need that breadth as well. We've really raised the bar in terms of looking at how cross-disciplinary and transdisciplinary work can happen. We, we're handing it on to a new generation and we hope they'll, they'll carry it forward. Mm -hmm.